Before I begin, I'm including a warning at the top of this video to avoid this artist. They have privated their account following this post that they published. The post reads, and I quote, Drawing a female character described as a tomboy, but my client is a straight man, so I am playing butch chicken with him to see how dykish I can make her before he notices. End quote. Observe the likes on this comment. I highlight the phrase, but my client is a straight male. This is hate. This is the very hate they accuse us of. I do not share this person's name to bully. I am warning people against the service that this person provides in exchange for money only to admit that they grant you a different caliber of service based on what they recognize as a disagreeable difference. You are straight, so you're getting the ugly woman treatment, not my words, theirs. Observe the likes. These are the people in the industry, people trained and indoctrinated by the people we warned you not to let in. A cop treating people differently based on their gender, race, or orientation is wrong, but it's okay when these artists do it. These inclusive and tolerant people apparently hate you enough to post mocking you after being paid and deliberately deny you what you are seeking. Sound familiar? Redesigns and reimaginings so divorced from the source material that you need to be told who or what it is? Casting directors admitting, I deliberately chose what I felt would challenge beauty standards. In yet another production of pointless, lazy race swaps. And if that wasn't bad enough, deliberately bad writing from dyed hair psychopaths she-hulking their way to what they consider success to then unironically expect our sympathy while striking because they believe they deserve more. We're on strike too, beta testers. We never needed to communicate it. But it'd take borderline jiggling tits in the trailers of everything to convince us men were somehow allowed into the room in the way of the production to inject just a small amount of fun into what would otherwise be a joyless, lifeless, and flat slog of an experience. This is not an exaggeration or hyperbole. They admit it. In their own words, these people hate you. Disney is filled with these people who openly hate and antagonize anyone who is of a different ideology, which paradoxically contrasts the diversity message that they, them, and corporations like, but not limited to BlackRock, have been utilizing over the past decade as like a weapon to infest, corrupt, and control what you ingest. They mean to weaken you, convince you that it doesn't matter, what's the big deal, just, oh, it's just a kid's name, what do you care, why do you care? Why? Like, subscribe, and comment, or correct me below. Miss Marvel or Kamala Khan holds the honor of a flop TV show, a flop game focused on her, and multiple canceled comic books that were not just unpopular, they were unreadable. Tumblr users turned SJWs turned activists infiltrated media to make comics, TV shows, cartoons, video games, movies unprofitable. In this video, I'll focus on a character that is easily the figurative Poochie of the Marvel Universe. If you disagree, I'll only know it if you like the video and comment and subscribe as well to boost the visibility of your comment. Let me know why you think Marvel comics and movies are now failing, because I'm sure the MCU has nothing to do with it. Neither do the garbage writers. Often, when designs and trajectories fall so far out of touch, I'm forced to think AI could do better. I know for a fact that certain talented and eloquent fans can do better, but I've witnessed insiders make literal block lists of passionate fans that challenge their quality compromising agendas. I happen to know for a fact that modders that are willing to put more than eight faces for customization in an RPG and lewd artists with Patreons that are willing to actually appeal to what fans ask for without mocking them at every turn are 
making more money than the designers and the developers that are enforcing that message so hard that they refuse to give people what they're asking for. Many of these passionate and vocal consultants have built big enough audiences to make a career simply saying what the industry ignores. I'd love to be that kind of voice, but I know it doesn't come with begging for likes, being entitled, or claiming everything I disagree with is hate speech. It comes with listening, patiently reading and discerning whether or not people are making sense because being humble enough to admit that you are and can be wrong is how we mature. All the knowledge in the world, useless, if you refuse to apply it. The application is wisdom. Disney does not demonstrate this in fact. It seems to be following the trajectory of another high-profile FAFO situation. So, paying customers have firmly decided not to watch, purchase, or even discuss the MCU. I think the counter-message we should send to Marvel should be loud and clear, and I believe that it is. Disney's merchandise cannot sell, park attendance has taken a dive, and the trailer for their recent preachy all-lady bullcrap movie has over 800,000 dislikes. And I'm sure a Snow White trailer will be even more polarizing since you can't shut this Rachel Ziegler person up. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. Like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Jesus Christ. This is my art that I made with the assistance of AI. It's called Stable Diffusion. Can you recognize who I'm going for without me having to tell you? If so, either I or the AI should be hired because it's managing more recognizable art than the garbage that designers are being paid to produce these days. But I guess we can finally stop pretending that the billion dollar corporation made their characters less appealing accidentally. I like curves and the contours of an athletic yet angelic body. Presenting the visual manifestation of an Olympic physique, the blood, sweat, and tears, the time they've put in, something that people can and do achieve and aspire to with discipline, enough to diet, time, invested in gym, and, you know, routines to physically condition themselves. I won't take this into a health direction. And how maybe that's a good message for America's fat ass because I already know that you're in bed with half of the companies making the food that they want us to keep shoveling down these kids' gullets. The problem is, it's one thing to condition people to buy something, it's another thing to condition people to be something, Disney. Many, many, many LGBTQIA characters. Uma. In our stories. We no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. They've been really open to exploring queer stories. Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's, in the background, this, like I was just, wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to like. The there is a mother of, of two queer children, actually. The groomers. All of our like gender non-conforming characters are in the background. One transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. Narratives in which Gay characters. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like I, I feel like I felt like it was. Groomer. <laughs> so if the groomers running the show over at the cult sniffed anybody not on board their DEI message train, they fired him. Didn't matter if they were talent, creatives, imagineers, fired. Anyone who might speak passionately, as we do, in defense of the pointless destruction of previously beloved characters and properties. Uh, an immolation of money. Did you know that after losing over 11 million subscribers to Disney+, Plus, Disney scrambled to get the Ms. Marvel show that nobody watched in front of eyes, any eyes. So, they put episodes of it on ABC for free. I stress that the point of a streaming service is to hold content hostage and force people to buy it, but so worried is Disney about the Goku in a crater interest, or lack thereof, in the Marvels as a movie. 800,000 dislikes on YouTube, by the way. Those are the things they're trying to hide from you. If that wasn't enough, they are currently prepping for a marketing Hail Mary, including, but not limited to, trying to market the Marvels and Snow White in a deceptive way to make it similar to the Barbie movie? 
actually hiding the cringe, uh, thanks to Phoebe Waller-Bridge's disintegration of the Indiana Jones movie that for no reason her insight helped craft. I don't have time to waste yours about... You can just picture it. Picture all the bare men as a hypocritical kind of... And think about how that contrasts the extremely covered up women. And I'm ashamed as a human being that they have wasted Scarlett Johansson, who is fun enough in real life to be born to play a smoke show femme fatale, big luscious milkers that cause record skips, car, car crashes, y'all really gave comic books to girls to weirdly appeal only to the types of violent lesbians who hate pretty women and quite frankly, your stranglehold on the square-jawed, block-faced women in Hollywood, it's holding up a Minecraft and Roblox movie and you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Let those projects take flight. To make everyone black and everyone gay, telling people to do better and be better when you're a literal thief, too stupid to sell the valuable thing that you have stolen before defacing it, and vandalizing it, and then wasting breath trying to convince people that it's actually worked more and it's better this way. Stupid. You need to pull up your pants. There are so many of us that would form a civil single-filed line to file into a bloody, sexy Marvel project like Logan meets Deadpool to see Ryan Reynolds kill the whole Marvel Universe to impress death. The material's right there in the comics, just begging you to use it. But no, Disney is in the spirit of denying fans what they want. I'm sure their Deadpool 3 has uh, uh, Logan kissing another man. That's what, that's, you know, because it's all about pro progressive messages. If anything, we should all cap for Disney, which is to say, pretend to love it in a Morbius kind of way, just long enough to see them make a Princess and the Frog movie because th you know that live action remake isn't going to make him white, which would be following the trends based on what they've been saying up until this point. That's hypocrisy if they don't make him white. But when you're objectively low quality movies that divorce consideration of what made them originally great, of course, the average people will pick up on the woke buzzwords so ingrained in your whipped employees that stupid actors can't recognize people's exhaustion enough to just shut up. Snow White and the dwarves are too offensive these days. Actress Rachel Zegla probably finds them scary, and it's not something that I liked so ill. Get rid of that. Change that. <laughs> That's not, that's not very modern. You know what I mean? You, you gave the power to the angry feminist SJW activists and, and what are we, where are we now? She said that you don't need true love, which I guess is like a, a message that I cannot disagree with. You don't need true love, but maybe you can put it in your fairy tale. You don't need dinosaurs, but maybe put one in the movie you're calling Jurassic Park. But I guess that's dated and this isn't a fairy tale anymore. Loser. None of us seeking out these people's Twitter smack the furry diaper vor degeneracy that they're into out of their hands, but they need to assert how gross everything that they don't like about what we're looking at is. Currently, these activists and useful idiots are busy praising a game that allows human-animal relations of the intimate variety, but when they see the jiggly titties, you know it's going to be aneurysm time for these people. These women... These actresses, they're beautiful, talented, they have potential. They can resonate as graceful, charming showstoppers with the right material. But relatable to woke writers is repulsive to the everyman, to a normal person. It wouldn't kill these people to have a beach scene, a volleyball, a, a pool scene, even a fight scene with them in their swimsuits. But in chasing what is unsustainable, you'll only seek more and more while delivering less and less. Woke writing is uninspired, hypocritical, formulaic, and expensive. It's been a decade of this garbage, and it hasn't changed, it hasn't evolved. It's actually funny. I haven't said a thing about Kamala Khan, and what is there to say? Who cares about Kamala Khan? Marvel Comics thinks you do, but e even, the, even the comic depicting her death is so telling. Spider-Man doesn't care about Kamala Khan. Captain Marvel should be at the, at the forefront here. But the fact that she's not tells you something. That's not the draw. 
this guy's the draw. You would have changed Spider-Man to a woman if you could up until this point. But it's not that easy, is it? There's a clip of faked audience reaction to the Elemental movies that appears to deceptively attempt to trick people into thinking that there's mad hype for a character that appears for the first time in this movie. You know, to me, it's not even about whether or not this clip is real or not. It's about the fact that garbage like this is so believable from Disney because they take out of touch to another level. Imagine staging a fake reaction in an audience and then filming. It's not crazy. Marketing's nuts. Everybody's making TikToks these Once days. All things. This is. So I watched it for the first time in probably sixteen. 17 years okay man I was doing this film. you know that was just on the timeline i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna move it so what a sad time that thankfully is coming to an end